92 people aboard takes off from Boston's Logan International Airport en route to Los Angeles. 8.15 a.m. United Airlines Flight 175, a Boeing 767 with 65 people on board, takes off from Boston's Logan International Airport en route to Los Angeles. 8.19 a.m. Flight attendants aboard Flight 11 alert ground personnel that the plane has been hijacked. American Airlines notifies the FBI. 8.20 a.m. American Airlines Flight 77 takes off from Dulles International Airport outside of Washington, D.C. Boeing 757 is headed to Los Angeles with 64 people aboard. 8.42 a.m. United Airlines Flight 93, a Boeing 757, with 44 people aboard, takes off from Newark International Airport en route to San Francisco. It had been scheduled to depart at 8 a.m. around the same time of the other hijacked flights. 8.46 a.m. Hijackers aboard American Airlines Flight 11 crash a plane into floors 93 to 99 of the North Tower at the World Trade Center, killing all 92 on board and hundreds inside the building. 9.03 a.m. Hijackers crash United Airlines Flight 175 into floors 75 through 85 of the World Trade Center South Tower, killing everyone on board and hundreds inside the building. 9.37 a.m. Hijackers aboard Flight 77 crash the plane into the western facade of the Pentagon Arlington, Virginia, killing 59 people aboard the plane and 125 military and civilian personnel inside the building. 9.59 a.m. The South Tower of the World Trade Center collapses in 10 seconds. After passengers and crew members aboard the hijacked Flight 93 contact friends and family and learn about the attacks in New York and Washington, they mount an attempt to retake the plane. 10.03 a.m. In response, hijackers deliberately crash Flight 93 into a field in Somerset County, Pennsylvania, killing all 40 passengers and crew aboard. 10.28 a.m. World Trade Center North Tower, tower collapses 102 minutes after being struck by Flight 11. More than 1,600 people are killed as a result of the attack on the North Tower. The September 11, 2001 attacks resulted in the death of 2,996 individuals and wounding more than 6,000 people. 